some other patterns that players are using that aren't really in the conversation yet. I wanted to show you this version of Shady Grove today to talk about um, some roles and patterns that um, I think are really valuable and I think that uh, not a lot of other people are talking about right now. Um, I, I, I guess I'd call them cross-picking because we're going across the string. Usually when people talk about bluegrass cross-picking, they're talking about three-note rolls, um, you know, and they... they People argue all day about, well, should it be down, down, up, or should it be down, up, down? And uh, and I think it's it's those are valuable roles, but that's only part of the conversation. And I think there's some other patterns that players are using that aren't really in the conversation yet. And um, these are some patterns that I hear players like Norman Blake, Tony Rice, Billy Strings, Molly Tuttle, Sierra Hall, David Greer even. Um, and Sean Watkins, I, I hear people using these patterns, and uh, but I don't see it out there like as far as like being a separate thing, and and so I'm trying to make it a separate thing. <clears throat> and so what I've done is I've named the patterns. Now there's no historical basis for these names, but I will say this: I don't think there's any historical basis for the word hammer on. Um, Pete Seeger, to my knowledge, came up with the word hammer on when he wrote a banjo instruction book in the 50s. You know, and I think about all the different Earl Scruggs roles that have names, like a forward-backward role or an alternating thumb roll. I don't know who came up with those, maybe Bill Keith when he wrote Earl Scruggs' book. Um, but that's helped, you know, hundreds and thousands of people learn to play the banjo by, by thinking of those roles. So, it's kind of my hope that, that this will be the same kind of thing. So I'm going to show you four roles today, or four patterns, that you can add into your playing. And uh, here, here we go. So, pattern number one, I'll start out on a C chord. I call this one four across. And it's just down, up, down, up, starting on the C note. And it's four notes that so over and over and over. And you can play that on any chord. Okay, so that's four across. Next uh, pattern I'd have, I call picka strama. So it's a picka, because I pick two notes, and then strama, because I strum two notes. And again, you can do that on any chord. Pick a strum. Okay. All right. So the next one is actually kind of two. I have this roll. I do. I call it a hammer strum or a hammer picka. So hammer strum would be hammer strum. Or I could do that roll with a picka, where I go hammer, and then I pick the next two notes. Hammer, picka, hammer, picka. Okay. Then the last roll I've got here today, I call an in and out roll. And um, so here I'm on a C chord. I'll start on the G string. And I go up towards the sky, and then down towards the floor. So I go G. but I'm going to go ahead and play them all back to back. I hear those rolls all 
the time in uh, in different players playing, um, and and I use them all the time. And I I find they they're really helpful to get this open ringing sound. So now I'm going to show you this version of Shady Grove that I played at the top. So um, we open with a, a, a four across. Now we do a hammer pick up. It's a hammer pick up. And then a bass strum, followed by a run. Now we have two in and out rolls on the F chord one on a C note. that F chord and I finish with that F chord. Now I've got a run on. Just a basic run. And then I do hammer pick up. And then a run from A down. So I've got this. One, two, three, four. See if you can learn that, and then remember this, as you're taking these rolls and putting them on other songs, um, the roll or the pattern goes on a melody note. Shady Grove, so instead of that we did. Okay, so the roll starts on a melody note. So you got four across, hammer pick up, and then in and outs. I guess the last pattern we did too was we did a pick a strum, which I didn't really use in the solo there, but it's still a good pattern to know. Pick a strum. Okay, have fun with those. Practice them slow uh, and use them. You'll use them forever, so practice them slow. Concentrate on the pick strokes. Learn them really good and and enjoy. Have have fun. All right.